All right. We are live. What's up, guys? Welcome hey. back. I am Division. I'm Scooter388. And we're ready to continue Pool's play here as we get into it here. Starting out with Nam and the Unknown. Unknown. On uh, Final Destination. So let's get right into it. Uh, Sheik and Mewtwo. Two glass cannons. Yeah, I mean, both of these characters, good at racking up the damage, not so good at living at medium, medium to lower percents. Yeah, I think one key difference in this matchup, though, is uh, just Mewtwo's ability to, to clean out those stocks, right? Yeah. Something that Sheik really struggles with, but Mewtwo, not so much. Mewtwo can definitely has uh, has those setups to kill at uh, around 100%, yep. and, you know, that's something that Sheik really lacks. So uh, it's going to take a lot of, a little more work from Nam to close out these stocks. But right now we got yep. the early game going on, and Nam just walling Unknown out on the ledge. Yeah, I mean, he's basically playing one-player smash right now, trying to keep Unknown from being able to play the neutral here, but Unknown finding his footing again, getting a bit of charge there, but once again, I'm just carrying him right back off stage. Yeah, using those air dodges very well to avoid a few hits to get him back get back to the ground here. All right. Ooh, jumping right into a waiting grab there. Ooh, oh, no. nice. Wow, and that kills. That early, yeah, that's a that's a hefty shadow ball right there. Yeah, that, that certainly will take the stock. And that just shows you the glass cannon part of these two characters. They are made of glass, and they will shatter if yep. you hit them hard enough. Yeah, and right now, unknown controlling this game from the start. Right now, working with a very comfortable lead, and that air dodge gonna get him out of the 50-50. Ooh, just avoiding the up B there, trying to mix him up. And that's really one thing that she has to rely on to try and get most of her kills. She has to rely on deception or some sort of trick in order to be able to catch her opponent off guard. Right, it's all about the mix-ups, and right now she, Nam is not able to, to really catch uh, Unknown off guard just yet. Oh, goes for the bounce fish. That was actually wow. really slick, but just the air dodge just in time to get him out of Nam's grasp. Oh, oh. and the chase down bouncing fish is going <laughs> to steal the stock. <laughs> that, that was impeccable because yeah. he was in the uh, spin animation. I got to say, those are the most annoying thing in the game. It's like, okay, I should be able to tech this, and then you end up in that Ooh. situation. It's like... No, you're not going to tech this. Yeah, we just saw Jordan right there go for the uh, footstool to disable. That would have been a very devastating situation for Nam, but he was able to – he just barely missed it, man. Just barely missed it. Yeah, Unknown doing his best to keep Nam off the stage here, not letting him get it back into neutral. Yeah, and when you take neutral away from Sheik, that makes the, the matchup all that much more difficult for Sheik to really get anything started. But – you know, Nam's just kind of poking away right now, trying to bring this back. It's getting some good percent. Finds about 20% right there with a few strings. Yeah, I mean, he's got the rage working uh -oh. for him, but nope, not going to do it just yet. A little too early. Good DI from Nam. Yeah, a little, bit, a little bit more rage, a little bit more damage on the other side, and that probably could have been it. Okay, neither player really wanting to overcommit right here because they both know that one mistake could cost them the game right now. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Unknown tries to close out this stock. He just wants to grab, and there it is. That should be it. That'll do it, and that's all he needed, all he was looking for. Yep. Just took one little overextension. Just a few pixels away from getting that grab on Nam's side. Unknown just realizing, hey, free grab, up to go. That's right. He's just looking for an approach, and he got just that. So, yeah. solid outing from Unknown in game number one. So, they're going to move into game number two. And uh, yep. that, that's a stage that Nam was probably feeling pretty comfortable on as well. And it's unfortunate he lost, because now he loses yeah. all that advantage in stage pick throughout the rest of the set. So yep. uh, we're going to see if it's getting the run. No. Nope. We're going to Dreamland, it seems. People. Here we go. <laughs> and let's get right underway. And of course, uh, the tri-platform's pretty good for uh, pretty, pretty good for Sheik. Yeah, now I'm racking him up to 21% with like five hits. And Unknown's like, you know what? Let me do more than that and just like Let me nair, then pair you, then we're even. Yeah. Like that's, yeah, I mean, the, the damage output from both these characters is just really crazy, but Mewtwo can do it in a lot less. Yeah, the thing is, Sheik's damage really at this stage of the game is more mental than it is yeah. physical. Yeah, not only that, but Mewtwo is pretty floaty and can, uh, with that air dodge, can maybe escape from some of these strings a little like quicker right than, there. than the cast can. Yeah, and then he can retaliate with like a nair or a fair. And it could, uh, he could really switch the situation around pretty quickly. Yeah, but I'm keeping him off stage as long as he can here. Yeah, and I'm doing a good job with the needles, just kind of poking away, getting percent on, not allowing him to get back to center stage. Ooh, the, that was a great, great mix up. Dodge. Oh my goodness. That was a great conversion from Nam. Reading the air dodge, getting the fair, and following up with that bouncing fish again. Ooh. Not going to take it, though. Yep, that jump, just get, keeping him out of the blast zone. Uh-oh, up throw. Ooh, you uh, went right for it, but the air dodge. I think he's a little... 
starting to get pressed a little out of that window. Yeah, the scary thing is, the longer you take to kill off Mewtwo, the closer he is to killing you with all this rage. Yeah, I think uh, he's got to be looking out for that up throw right about now, maybe another hit or two away. Oh, the uh, Shadow Ball, but no, nah, I'm ready for that. Uh-oh, let's see if... Ooh, he got two air dodges and was finally able to come up with a back air. Better than nothing. Yeah, not too much he could do up there, but now up the up throw, throw and that should steal it. Yep. yep. Just like that, all that rage. Because Nam couldn't close off that stock, came back to haunt him. Oh, that was slick. Got the fair wow. and waited out with the Shadow Ball. And that's massive percent, 51%, 61% unanswered. Jeez. This man and is there. going in And right the now. up smash! No! no. Und oh, destruction! That, no way. That was the most unbelievable combo that Unknown just pulled off. That was unbelievable. He just put on an absolute clinic. That was disgusting. <laughs> Chat, if you could just Giphy Cat and add that to Twitter, Facebook, whatever social media you like to use. People need to see this. Oh my goodness. And there. And then as soon as he wow. got that hit on the tail, he got the, just the perfect hit to make it so he was yep. able to confirm the up smash and it Man. just done. Just done. Sheik is so light. Done. Yep. Oh my goodness. What, a, what what an intense way to start off our block here. Uh, going through these matches, guys. We're having, oh, we're already having such a great time. Yep. Uh, we've been having a great time all day here at Zero Requiem. We have about yep. 150 smashers from mostly from Michigan and a little bit of Ohio come out here 